Just see if we can get a quick game in before I have to get busy again. Let's see how we get on here. Um, let's just push through and block the pawn here. As we've mentioned before, in the very strong sides at the minute. And we're in this uh, intermediary area where it's so strong, they're so strong. But we're battling away. We're taking the losses, we're taking some, a few recent draws, which is good, with some advantages. So we're trying not to get disheartened. Let's just bring the bishop here as we do. Stopping the, well, it's not stopping the fried because they're probably still going to come for it at some point. Excuse me, just develop the knights, attacking the pawn. But the key thing is we want to go and castle. So let's castle. So the king is safe now. So do we hit this one? Don't really like this position, but I'm gonna I'm gonna hit the bishop anyway. Not very confident with this position. I think you then jump here and attack the bishop here like this. But then you see it goes against the grain of what I I like to give my king company and I want to do this but it doubles the pawns but I like doubling the pawns but goes against the grain of the philosophy of the game so what do we do what can we do what can we do anything else you know I'm actually going to hit the bishop I, I like doing it I feel comfortable doing it if they take it doubles the pawns puts a bit of pressure on this pawn here towards the king that's my, my philosophy, I'm sticking with it. And they haven't done so, we will gladly take. So we need to focus on defending this pawn now, don't we really? Although I don't want to defend the pawn. Can we attack anything? Bishop coming back out, getting the queen off the back. Get the queen here. It's just going to hit us though. That's, that's where Bishop's not in a very good position, is it? Right, need to give my king some company. In order to do that, I'm going to have to bring this here, potentially get the knight here and sit it here. That's my thought process. So let's get this knight across and give the king some company. It's not losing any sleep over taking the dark square bishop off, but it is our bad bishop really, isn't it? It's on the dark square. So I'm going to continue protecting our king area. If we can may take with the pawn, although I haven't got any isolated pawn, so maybe I don't need. Woohoo! What's going on? What's going on? Let's hit it with a smaller piece. Has he got us some magical thing? No, not just yet. All right. So did they waste the tempo and they're not actually taking our bad bishop after all? So do we get to keep the bad bishop? Interesting times. Um. Knight across, then we have to take with the pawn. Maybe we don't do that just yet. I don't think we need to rush to save the bad bishop. You can see how bad it is. It's stuck behind all the dark, you know, the dark areas. That I don't really see that we need to do anything. Maybe just bring the queen here. Probably can give the king a bit more company, supporting the pawn pushing up. Or maybe we'll just tell the knight, well, what are you doing? But if we do that, it does have this square here and they could champion putting pressure on our king, Gary. I'm going to bring the queen here. They're obviously not a fan of taking the bad bishop. No, they're not. They're definitely not. So we want to get our knight across to the other side of the board as well somehow. Which way do we want to go? So my whole focus point is really on just giving my king some company. I'm not actually focused on targeting anything. This hasn't got any protection, but we don't have a piece that can go to it. So if we come this way, this pawn's blocking. So do we tell, ask that question? No, because of this. But what is that really doing? So once they've gone there with the knight, maybe they don't go there with the knight. Maybe the bishop comes and attacks the queen. Then we have to move up. Yeah, someone's telling me it's not right. So I'm going to bring the rook across. And then look to get the knight across at some point, I think. 
just put in the rook here because through all of this Maya there's the queen at the end of all of that so if something did kick off then maybe we'll get the queen long term plan so it's looking a bit sticky I'm not I've not gone past the halfway mark oh now they're that looks free doesn't it because it's got no protection on it are they resigning now or is the queen coming down and doing something so we take then the queen comes down attacks the knight that doesn't look and it's got this dark square bishop funky business going on I think this is a set play thing we'll take anyway queen comes down we come here and oh they've resigned excellent 